Hello best friends, Christian O here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the strongest, biggest scent bubble, longest scent trail fragrances on the market. Today, a couple hidden gems. Fragrances for everyone. What if you're going ice skating or sledding? These are the fragrances you want to wear. Cold weather built fragrances. Ladies first, we're going to dive right in and shout out to my people in the cold cities like Chicago. Is Atlanta cold? I don't know. Florida isn't, but up north it is. Is Oregon cold? How you guys doing? We got Gucci Bloom Profumo di Fiori. That's like a good, you remember Armani Profumo? This is the Gucci Profumo Bloom. It's in a yellow bottle because it has yellow florals. I'm showing you the ladies fragrances first so you can look cool and get them this for Christmas or whatever celebration you do or just to know about them because they last long and they're up to date and trending. Gucci Bloom looks like this. It's a white floral with yellow florals. It focuses on the yellow floral. This is called Yves Saint Laurent for ladies Libra. This one lasts all day long and dries down to like the old Christian Dior attic. A little bit pricey on both of these. They're under a hundred. This one's a little bit over a hundred. This will last you 12 hours beast mode. This is the beast mode for women and it's a gorgeous bottle, isn't it? We have 20 fragrances with such titles as by Killian, Afnan, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, Prada, even some Parfums de Marley, even some cheap fragrances and expensive fragrances. Pure malt. When it finally dries down, it joins all of its all of its notes, which is malt, whiskey, coffee, and a hinting note of green from the patchouli. All in all, this is what I would wear if I was on a date going ice skating or something like that. It would be perfect. It smells so good in the air even. I want to spray it now. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Next you have by Killian Dark Lord. Can you see how empty this is? I don't know if you can see that. There's a little drop left in there. You see that? Anyway, that little drop, if you put a dab it on your hand like that, you're like, oh, that's just another vetiver rum fragrance. This has rum and vetiver in it. It's very spicy and masculine. But when you first smell it, you're like, oh, it's nothing. Have you ever bit into a hot pepper and everyone says, don't ever eat that, don't ever eat that, and you bite it and it's like, oh, that's nothing. I'll eat the whole thing. 30 minutes later or three minutes later, boom, nuclear explosion. A lot of these fragrances do that. And this for sure is one of them. When I first tried it, I, I sprayed it two times. I'm like, oh, that's pleasant. I could wear that. So I hit it four times. What a mistake. I choked people out. I gave myself a headache. It's such a long, it takes six hours to get to the dry down. But when you get there, it's beautiful. Dark Lord by Killian can be found on eBay. I'm going to give you a hint. On eBay, these people sometimes, like the sales reps, sell their samples because they're they're not selling as much in the stores because of the problem with COVID and all that. So they get these testers like that, and sometimes they sell them on eBay cheap, like a hundred bucks. Or usually, this is a two hundred fifty dollar fragrance on the Killian website. Also, you can buy these. On the website, they sell refill bottles $60 cheaper than their actual bottle. So who would care, you know, if you have your own atomizer scent sprayer, that's a way to save money and pick out exactly what you want from their website. That's a helpful tip. Next fragrance I wanna show you, it's called Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now this is a fragrance that will slice through a cold weather like there's no tomorrow. Guess who made this? Alberto Marias. Alberto Marias also makes famous fragrances for Jeremy fragrance. The beautiful fragrance called Date, if you've never heard of that one. We're going to talk about this. It starts with leather, patchouli, has cypress in it, and it gives you a free, spicy, clean, herbal, evergreen aroma after it's all drying down. And when the cold wind hits, it projects like some kind of, like I said, some sort of nuclear reaction happens. It's very heavy in patchouli and elements of vetiver and wood, woods. And the sillage, which means central, is gargantuanly enormous. You'd probably be 26 years old. This is pretty much only a winter fragrance. Produces a woody, natural, green, fresh, spicy odor. How long did it last? 12 hours. Easily the strongest Gucci Guilty in their line, but it comes with the price. Do you like spicy strong? Uh, have you ever heard of Eau de Iceberg Cedar that has 28% similar notes to this Gucci Guilty? For men or women, it's called Maison Francis Cartesian Baccarat Rouge 540. 
That means Baccarat Rouge 540, a soft floral with jasmine and saffron. It has a cotton candy vibe. Very elegantly done. This makes you feel really good when you spray it and it grows on you. And a similar scent to this is called Ariana Grande Cloud, or you find something called Forever Absolute. Best for 20 years and up. Next, you have my favorite, and this is so nuclear. It's called Maison Francis Kirk Tijin's Oud Satin Mood. You have Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, you have Oud, Violet, and Vanilla in here. For some reason, when I first smell this, all I can smell is the deep red roses, like two kinds in a special order. It's amazing, but it gets interpreted differently from person to person, because when you first smell it, you can, if you really can smell it, you smell the oud way in the background, and a red rose, and a regular rose, lighter rose, and some sort of berry note, all coming in all at once. You have to decipher it though, like you have to really think about it. And for sure, this is a 15 hour fragrance. Projection is no joke. It's got lots of benzoins and resins and styrax in it and things like that. It smells rich, it is expensive, it is luxurious, but it's built for this video. Strongest projection fragrances for cold winter. I'm gonna show you some cheap fragrances right now. Number one is this one. It's called Afnan His Highness Green. It is a specially spicy, thick, green, woody fragrance. Nothing to do with polo green, although a lot of people said it smells like polo green took two shots of steroids. Possibly, but it's much more luxurious than that. It smells like smoked oud, saffron, and spices all mixed together with a heavy green note. It's an enormous silage, sillage, which is a scent trail, an enormous scent bubble around you. and longevity is 8 to 12 hours this is a beast mode fragrance found for about 70 bucks very good if you like green fragrances another fragrance you can find is called back to black by killian a full size bottle is about 300 dollars even to this day on their website they have delicious aromas of fruit honey amber and tobacco and it's so sexy it's just great i almost feel like wearing it today why not well, there goes the day. Now I have this honey orange note coming off me with a touch of woods, and it's sophisticated. There's some delicious vanilla in there, and that'll probably be on me for eight hours, and this is good for ages 23 and up. Dark fragrances, this is a dark note inside here. That means if you can think about it, a dark note, how, it, how you would think about it. It's an all season fragrance as well, and good to go ice skating or sledding with. Soon it's gonna snow around here. Another fragrance, have you ever heard of Mansara Hindu Kush? This is great for cold weather. It focuses on a note called cannabis, but it's like in the background and it's, it just smells so good and strong and spicy and you can wear one spray to work two sprays when you go ice skating or doing whatever cold activity you might be doing. Hindu Kush looks like that. Michael Saramito created this fragrance by Parfums de Marley called Godolphin. You have your fruits and your spices and roses and cypress and green notes all sitting on top of leather. Reminiscence of a fragrance called Tuscan Leather. This is kind of a aphrodisiac it's not harsh it is mysterious and sexy fruity clean safe and soft good for work weather is best for this is autumn or winter summer in the late summer when it's you know 50 it's like almost an all season one it dries down to a leather cedar wood vanilla amber fragrance it's rich and glamorous it's called go dolphin another fragrance that has leather that's a lot cheaper is called ombre leather or this one is called rare carbon this is a beast mode fragrance for 33 dollars and some change you can look up rare carbon on the internet it's fire fragrance here's a fragrance that's a rose that i tested last night from 2013 it's called this is by killian musk This is by Killian Musk Oud, launched in 2013. The nose behind this is Alberto Marias. Again, top notes are lemon, cardamom, coriander. You have Bulgarian rose, germanium, cypress, and artemisia. Agarwood and oud, basically, you smell rum and lemon and oud wood all mixed together with rose. It's a very 
centered around the rose note. It's pretty much an amazing fragrance, lasted seven hours. It's the kind of fragrance that doesn't kill my olfactory and I keep wanting to smell it and smell it and smell it when I first spray it. It is intense. So if it's if I say it's intense, it might even be more intense. If you ever get a hands on this, it's from 2013. It's the bomb and it smells good. And another one is our hidden gem of the day by Killian. Have you ever heard of straight to heaven? Yes, you have. Straight to heaven, white something. Yes, you have. But have you ever heard of straight to heaven? extreme this is called straight to heaven extreme i believe this is a discontinued hidden gem fragrance the nose behind this is sidoni la Cessure. the rum note is amped up it's boozy sweet masculine performance is outstanding well about six to eight hours but it's it's like a projection that's outstanding it's one of my favorite fragrances i've experienced but it comes with a very priced heavy price tag that was our hidden gem of the day it's not so much available anymore have you ever heard of something called pen pen halligan's halfiti or mansara black prestigium or ds dugra amber Kiso? comment down below also, I want you to hear what your strongest projection fragrance for cold winter is. I want to know those three fragrances because somebody recommended them to me. We're going to go now. Have you ever heard of Versace Eros? That would be a nice date night fragrance going out in the cold weather, drinking uh, hot chocolate around the bonfire. Also, Aqua di Gio Profumo. This is a great mass appealing cold weather fragrance, beast mode fragrance. It's got a lot of oceanic sea notes in it, lasts a long time gets a lot of compliments sprayed on your coat and your scarf it's game over whoever's around you their wives are going to be coming at you too saying oh my god smell this guy he smells so good find yourself aqua di geo profumo mass appealing designer beast next you can find an old school fragrance i put it on the list because i know you guys love these cheapies this is about 35 40 dollars versace signature it's got some petty grain oil that means almost like a bitter orange citrus note coming out of it and you, it's kind of soft it's got lily of the valleys in it you think about sweet soft and aquatic you see it's a blue fragrance would you wear it in the cold not so much but it's a versatile all season around blue fragrance and when that cold weather hits your face or your clothes this thing goes to work something about the cold weather musk and tonkin hold it together in 2011 christian dior came out with dior ohm but he also came out with dior ohm intense that has musk mallow this one does instead of the cacao trying down to an iris powdery type fragrance which is very romantic very long lasting and this intense version gives itself more of a projection more of a central than the old one i just got finished running just two miles i kind of like to run a little bit before i do a video to get the toxins out and my neighbor brought me some lasagna soup i've never had it she had a party last night thank you tammy you're very sexy and beautiful and she commented on this fragrance interlude black iris oh my god have you ever smelled this I'm a wash interlude black iris. At first spray, it starts with a leathery rosemary agarwood smoke scent to it. It's so delicious. The noticeable difference between regular I'm a wash interlude and this, this is actually less aggressive. It's called black iris. That's a floral, a rare flower, an iris note. Again, like this one, the Dior Homme has iris in it. And if you like that kind of elegant, nice touch to your fragrance, you'll love this. This is $360 in a department store, and the prices are beginning to drop finally in the $200 zone. It's got 25% oil made in Oman, if that means anything to you. Adding iris to interlude really toned it down. The whole story behind the black iris is a, an artist that created this photo back in the 20s that perceived people are always so busy that you don't stop to smell the roses or in that case smell the iris i like to wear, wear this fragrance it lasts and sticks to everything especially clothes i mean weeks if you put it on your clothes the price versus the juice value on this is outstanding even though it's expensive this will last you five years probably you come back here in five years and i'll show you my same bottle as this list continues, I put the lowest prices one at the end with the best analytics of longevity, price, complement factor, and one of them is called Are You Serious? Because this thing lasts five hours with four hours of projecting and it, and it still goes on up to eight to ten hours. The projection goes hardcore. If this smells like um, 
Creed Aventus. Have you ever heard of Are You Serious? Find yourself this fragrance. It is great compliment getting. One of my favorite projecting fragrances is called Prada Luna Rosa Black. And this one's projecting, gets you compliments and cuts through that cold winter air as well. Spray it on a little bit heavier than normal though, but it's so good and it lasts eight hours. You have this fragrance too that everyone loves to wear this in the cold weather. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, a sexy fragrance. I'm gonna tell you what this smells like. You've got vanilla, pear, mint. Women love this. It's a fragrance that attracts women like flies. Even if you don't like it, it's sweet. You might wanna get it. And another fragrance, this is about a $100 fragrance. You want to find it cheaper. You find this fragrance called 9 p.m. It smells identical to this. $30, $35. Look it up. It's a beast mode. It projects so hard it might make you nauseous. Peace and love, everyone. I hope you all have a great holiday season.